Hello and a very warm welcome to all of you to this tutorial at Biotechnica TV. Today I'm going to guide you through the application process for CSIR Net December 2018. And before I get started, I would advise you to go through the notification which is located on CSIR HRDG website. And post that, you must click on apply online. When you click on apply online, this particular web page will open. I recommend you to click on how to apply and go through all these instructions. However, I'm going to summarize everything, so don't worry. Even if you miss out something, I'm going to tell you here. Now, first and foremost thing to understand while applying is there are three mistakes generally students make while applying. The first being mistakes while filling the form. The second being mistakes while uploading the documents. And the third mistake happens if in case you when you are trying to pay and the payment does not go through because it's an online payment methodology. Now, why you have to be perfect and accurate because you cannot submit another application. You have to submit only one application. And the second thing is you have to submit it before 15th of October. Maybe they'll extend the dates by five or 10 more days, but that we should not wait for the last minute. Having said that, let us look at certain um, pitfalls or certain uh, uh, problems which you may face. So first thing, please connect to a stable internet. Okay. So by stable internet, what I mean to say is which does not go off every now and then so connect to a Wi-Fi which is not getting disconnected quite often on which you can rely the next would be registering so today as soon as I was trying to register I realized that there are certain uh, mistakes which happened so the moment I uh, registered the blank page opened. you can see this blank page so after registering this kind of a blank page may come for you but don't worry, it doesn't mean that your registration could not go through. All you have to do is go back again and you will see that you are actually logged in already. And it will send you a OTP to your email address and phone number. Now I am yet to receive a OTP on my phone number. However, I received an email with the OTP and I entered and I have activated the account. Now once the account is activated, I will be able to see this form now this is the actual form which we have to go through so we have to choose JRF if we want to apply for both JRF and LS and only LS if we want to target only the lecturership now of course whatever is your subject you're going to uh, select here now another thing I would suggest to you is each time you click on these drop downs click outside also to deactivate it otherwise the moment you scroll down this options may change it happens most of the times however this time it is not happening but if it happens it can be lethal okay so your subject can entirely change so each time you select the subject click outside now select the specialization select the exam center select the medium very simple now select your name let me quickly put in these details you can ignore the phone number select your gender Select your father's name. Now select your mother name. Now select your date of birth. Now while selecting your date of birth, click here on the year and then go here. So now you are on the accurate date. You can see now obviously we were not never born in 2007 so let's go back we'll just check some year for reference purpose now let us select something say okay so suppose this is the year so as you can see it is out of the JRF so let me select another year that will be helpful so maybe 1990 September 4 okay so I'm still eligible using this date so now select the category now not applicable if in case there's no disability scroll down enter your address so in my case let me write Biotechnica next 
write down the city write down the pin code now select the state now suppose this is as per the mailing address just tick that now select the qualifying degree suppose my degree is MS MSc and I have passed suppose in last year suppose I will write that so obtain marks suppose 75 76% maximum marks 100 okay this is bachelor's degree so let me change this let me put it 2013 and then let me put this as 2017 duration two years university just write Bangalore University no so month of passing year of passing it is asking now so I'm being shown a uh, error okay so the date of enrollment should be 15 okay 2017 division first obtain marks 86 maximum marks 100 so I've just put some dummy data here now here comes the actual challenge for life science or non-engineering background students they really don't understand some terms here so I'll just explain uh, if in case you understand very good no problem so here it, it says that it should be 280 into 360 pixels so just take your photograph select it and upload it now you have to resize the photograph you can choose any online tool for resizing in my previous year videos also I have shown how to resize your photographs you can also use paint to resize your photographs now after you have resized make sure it is less than 150 kb the same with the signature so just sign on a piece of paper take a photo of it and make sure that it is minimum of 100 into 40 pixels okay so that should be the size minimum and the file should not be above 150 kilobytes uploaded now click on upload scanned qualifying mark sheet so you just uh, you can use the cam scanner app to scan it you need not buy a scanner or go to somebody you know who has got a scanner you op open your smartphone install the cam scanner app and scan your mark sheet and export it and upload it here as simple as that once you have done that you have to click on save and preview at that point in time you will be able to see whatever you have filled here now that will help you revise and that is where uh, most of the mistakes get gets rectified if you are sure that all the information which is there in your application is correct then only submit the application okay now you will have 45 minutes to re review the information and then later on you can submit now once you have clicked on submit it will show you a payment gateways you have to choose the right pay, uh, payment method whether you want to use a debit card credit card or net banking i will encourage you to use a debit card okay or a credit card don't use net banking because it depends on various other uh, you know uh, factors okay and then proceed to the payment gateway okay always use your debit card okay if in case if it is your mother's debit card or your father's debit card may, make sure they are around and they have their phones with them because sometimes the OTP will be sent by the bank and if that OTP is not entered on time the payment will fail okay so this is how you're going to apply and again I'll reiterate there are three points of mistakes the first being while filling the application the second being while you are uploading the documents and the third being while you are paying okay and the last part which i said while you are paying for the application most of the mistakes happens that time now if in case maybe if it can happen if in case 
the money got debited from your account and CSIR resulting page says that we have not received the payment and the application is pending. Do not panic. Wait for 48 hours. Either the money will get refunded to your account or it, your application will get auto submitted. So you should not worry about it. Now, if in case you face any kind of difficulty while filling the application form, feel free to email us and contact us and we will help you or guide you in filling the application. Now, I would like to put a disclaimer here. This video is supposed to be used only for information purpose. Neither we represent CSIR nor we aim to uh, upload the application on your behalf. You have to do it. But our job is to help you as Biotechnica and we'll keep doing. All the best. If you have any kind of questions, feel free to comment below or send us an email to info at the rate biotechnica.org or you can also contact us on the phone numbers. For your inf information, we also provide coaching for CSIR, NET and GATE exams. If in case you want any kind of assistance with the, those preparation ex for the exams, please contact us. Thanks a lot. Have a great day ahead.